Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to solve a question of fleet code that is key the smallest element in a solid matrix. So let's start with the problem statement. Given an n to n matrix where each of the row and column is sorted in ascending order, return the kth smallest element in the matrix. Note that it is the kth smallest element in the sorted order, not the kth distinct element, right? So this is a very important statement. We just need to find out the kth smallest element in the sorted order, not the kth distinct element. It means we can also count the repeated element in the kth count, right? And what we need to do is we need to find a solution with a memory complexity better than n square, right? So the very brute force approach would be to store the whole matrix in a 1D array, then sort that array and find the kth element, or we can say directly return the kth element. But in that case, we will be taking n square space complexity or the memory time complexity. But we need to find out a better solution, right? So let's quickly see how can we approach this question. So let me just copy the first example from here. And we have given k is equal to 8, right? So let's write k is equal to 8, right? Now we need to find out the kth smallest element, right? So Let's see what is the kth smallest element. So if we write this whole matrix in the sorted order, we will get 1, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, and 15, right? So the eighth element from the beginning is this is first, this is second, this is third one, this is fourth one. This is fifth one, this is sixth one, this is seventh, and this is eighth. So basically, we need to return 13 from here, right? We need to return 13 from here. So our answer is 13. Now let's see how can we find out this in the most optimal way, right? So we will be approaching this question through binary search because binary search is an algorithm which is the most optimized algorithm to search any element in the sorted array, right? And it is already mentioned that the rows and columns are already sorted. So we can easily implement binary search here, right? Now let's see how can we use binary search here. So in the binary search, we will be implementing binary search on the answer, right? So we can consider this as a problem of binary search on answer, right? So let's say what we do in the binary search, we take, um, lowest value and the highest value and we find out the middle element right this is what we do usually in the binary search so we already know as per the instructions given in the question the array is already sorted row wise and column wise so the first element or 0 comma 0 element is the smallest one and this one right this is the bottom right element is always the maximum one so what can we say from here is the lowest element is 1 and the highest element is 15, right? So if we find out the middle element, so middle element would be 15 plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 8, right? 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. Now we need to find out the elements, right? Since we are just applying this binary search on the answer, so what we need to do is we need to find out the number of elements which are less than equal to 8 since we are finding out the kth smallest element. That's why we will be checking the smaller element which are smaller than m and equal to m, right? So let's find out for the each row. So for the each row, in the first row we have the smallest element or the elements which are smaller than 8 and or equal to 8. So in the first row we have two elements, right? 1 and 5. Then in the second row, we don't have any element and in the third row as well, we don't have any element. Now, if we see, we have two elements only, right? But we need to find out eight elements, right? K is given eight, eighth, right? So we need to find out the eighth element. So what we need to do is we need to somehow increase the value of M, right? We need to somehow increase the value of M so that we can cover more elements on the smaller side. So how can we increase the value of M? So very simpler way to increase the value of m is to increase the value of l somehow, right? So what can we do is we can increase the value of l to m plus 1. So l will become now 
m plus 1 it is 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 so this l will become 9 and the new middle element is 9 plus 15 is equal to 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12 right we will get 12 now let's find out how many elements are there which are less than equal to 12 right so in the first row we have three elements all three elements are less than equal to 12 right in the second row we have two elements 10 and 11 then in the third row we have only 12 right so we have one here the so total we get six still six is less than k right so again we need to increase the value of left one right so again we increase m plus 1 it is 12 plus 1 is equal to 13 let's increment m l to 13 here right we increment l to 13 now the updated m would be 13 plus 15 that is equal to 28 28 divided by 2 is equal to 14 m will become 14 right now let's find out the elements which are less than equal to 14 right so let's find out so in the first row we have all three elements then in the second row again we have all three elements then in the third row we have first two elements so that is equal to 2 right so total count would be 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 6 plus 2 is equal to 8 right so we got 8 here which is equal to k it means we can consider this as an answer right we can consider this as an answer so let's store this into an answer variable so let's store this into an answer variable is equal to 14 right now we need to decrement the value or we we can say we need to decrease the value of m right because we will be finding out the most optimal answer so what we did we do we will just decrement the value of h because we need to decrease the value of m somehow right so we will just decrease the value of h to m minus 1 it is 14 minus 1 is equal to 13 so h will be updated to 13 and the updated m would be 13 right now again let's count the values here right let's count the value so now we have all three elements in the first row all three in the second row and first two in the third row so again we get 8 here and 8 is basically equal to k so this could be answer right so let's update answer to 13 right now again we try to decrease right so we again update edge with m minus 1 that is equal to 12 right but now this l becomes greater than h right or we can say h becomes lesser than l right so in this condition we will just terminate our by loop and we will just return our answer as 13 right and the answer is 13 only right so it means our answer is correct and the approach is very simple i hope the approach is clear to you we are just using a binary search on the answer and taking the lowest and highest value as 1 and 15 and just uh, looping iterating through the smallest and the highest value and finding out the middle element and just counting the element in the each each value of m right in for the each value of m we are just counting the number of elements in the matrix which are less than equal to m right and we are storing the count in a answer variable if the count is greater than equal to k right and at the end we will just return the minimum value of answer which is possible and that is 30 so i hope the approach is clear to you let's quickly move to the coding part so let's first take um two variables int r is equal r and c or we can take m and n that is the number of rows and number of columns we are taking this outside this function because we need to use this value in the another function which will be which we will be declaring to count the number of elements in the matrix right so let's see so in this let's take let's first take the value of m and n so m will be equal to matrix dot size and n will be equal to matrix zero dot size now let's also take two variables in l is equal to matrix zero and zero this is the lowest value right and let's take the right element as the highest value so highest value would be 
int r is equal to matrix m minus 1 and n minus 1 and this is the rightmost bottom element now we run a while loop until l is less than equal to r and let's find out the middle element so int mid is equal to l plus r divided by 2 and let's find out the count so if the count is of matrix comma mid we will be passing the two parameters from here and if it is greater than equal to k then we need to update the answer so let's take an answer variable int answer is equal to minus one initially and let's update answer to mid here and let's update um, right to mid minus one right else if if this count right if this count is less than k so we need to increase the value of l right so let's increase the value of l here so else l will be equal to mid plus one right and at the end just return answer from right now let's initialize the function count which will be counting the number of elements which are less than equal to k right which are less than equal to basically mid value so um count let's take vector vector of integers and matrix and also take a integer variable int mid here which will be calling from here right now let's take int c or let's take first count count is equal to zero initially and let's also take int c which will be representing the column right and the column would be r minus um, it will be equal to n minus 1 because uh, number of columns is n and the uh, index of column would be minus 1 because it is a zeroth index right now let's run for the each row so for int i is equal to 0 i should be less than the number of rows that is m and i plus plus right now let's run a while loop until like we need to find out the count of here right so the optimized way to find the count is just point the column number here right so let's say if the value of mid is equal to 8 right in the first iteration we got the value of m is equal to 8 so what we can check is until and unless the value of the elements is greater than 8 then we will just decrement the column pointer here right so at the end if the value of this element is less than equal to mid then we will just stop it here right so let's write the same condition here while c is greater than equal to 0 and matrix i and c is greater than k or greater than mid right in this case we will just decrement c from here else what we need to do is we need to add the whole numbers into a count variable because definitely the values are less than mid or equal to mid so we will just add this into the count so count plus equal to c plus 1 right why we are taking c plus 1 because this is a zero index and right? this is zero index so we will just increment one to count the values right so this is fine at the end just return count from here right i hope this should work fine let's try to run this on our sample test cases yeah we did a spelling to stay here it should be matrix yeah it's working fine let's submit this yeah it's working fine so the time complexity of this solution is big O of you can say m plus m into log of n and this all this log of n is for this while loop right and this while loop will be running at most n times right and this inside for loop is running n times 
right? So this all together is m plus n into log of n and the space complexity would be constant because we are not using any extra data structures or any vector or array. So this is a constant. So the space complexity is constant and time complexity is m plus n into log of n, right? So I hope the approach and solution is clear to you. If you still have any doubt in this question, feel free to comment it down. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next video.